No matter how tough and bitter life's challenges may seem to you, the positive power of negative effect may be the book that can help you turn your obstacles into opportunities. Call 1-229-638-1065 right now or visit MyMiracleTV.org to get your personal copy of The Positive Power of Negative Effects written by Dr. Indy Alley, the international bestseller, which may help you turn every obstacle you confront into the opportunity of your success in life. It's not about, the, you know, I'm not talking about just Islam trying to persecute Christianity or Christians. We are living at the verge right now. Jesus is really rattling the church, shaking up the church. And there's a reason for it. God is allowing that to happen on purpose. And you're going to be hearing some of these purposes, or some of these reasons, some of the goals. Why God is allowing suddenly Christianity to come under a massive attack, massive op opposition, persecution, and tribulation like this. Amen. Stay tuned. And I'm your host, Dr. Andy Howdo of the Raising Day Broadcast coming to you live at mymiracletv.org or raisingthedead.org and I am really humbled to keep on bringing this word of God to you and to encourage you. So this is not a new thing and you remember too uh, I think it was 2012 in uh, Colorado, the state of Colorado uh, a church building over there uh, I think it's, it's a boulder you know the city of Boulder but in the state of Colorado a young, young person, I mean, he went up with gun, went into a church building and gunned down, killed some people right there in the church service. So right now, because of the fear and the impact of that massacre in the church building, the government, of, of course, the state government of Colorado, you know, have just uh, uh, brought up, uh, made a law right now to allow churches to be carrying guns into church services. You know, <laughs> you can see how the devil again is trying to push the church button here and there, sometimes even to make us to, you know, go against the word of God. If you live by gun or you live by weapons, you know, by sword, you will perish by sword. So here we're seeing clearly God is allowing that again, what we were thinking that could only happen in other nations or third world nations, these things are happening right now here in America. So the persecutions and the tribulations are coming, but they're already here in the United States. There is a day coming, now it is. It has already begun. They will be going about hunting down Christians from nook and cranny of this nation. You will be seeing it. And I know somebody will say, Ah, oh, I don't buy that. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. You know, those of us who are Pentecostal and charismatic, we don't want to hear something like that. Quickly, when you hear something like that that seems to be you know, uncomfortable to our flesh, we quickly try to rebuke the devil. Guess what? Peter did the same thing too. When Jesus was talking about what he was going to go through, you know, during the passion of his suffering and his crucifixion and, uh, and of the humiliation he was going to go through, Peter was so Pentecostal and so charismatic, he started rebuking the devil out of Jesus and even took Jesus aside and started rebuking Jesus. He said, you know, far away from you, this will never happen to you. Don't speak negatively like this. And Jesus rebuked Peter to let him know, if you are going to be part of my kingdom, all hell will break loose against you. Why? Because upon this rock, Jesus said, I am building my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. So the gates of hell will bump out and vomit hell against the people of God. But we are not going to be moved by this. For those of us who fear God, those of us who know God, those of us who are prepared, who know that surely this things will happen, we are not scared of it. We are ready for it. Why? In the midst of all these sufferings and persecutions, God is getting glory out of it. Hallelujah glory out of the persecution out of the tribulation out of the sufferings glory out of the killings glory out of the humiliation glory out of the imprisonment glory out of the confiscation of our own property glory souls are going to be worn into the kingdom of god like crazy hallelujah and we're going to see some of these reasons some of these purposes so now the time has come for America. For all these years, we might have been sheltered, and we were thinking, okay, it can only happen outside the United States. But guess what? What if we have a government now that decides to go against Christians, to promote or even prom promulgate or a sort of make a decree that anybody that names the name of Christ, sincerely speaking, is an you know, anti-government, is un unpatriotic. 
they will come against Christians here and then you see our church is going empty. You see preachers dropping their titles. A lot of TV preachers, radio uh, preachers, church buildings will, I mean, will literally will go empty and, you know, will go underground. But we have to be prepared for this. Because Jesus has already warned us over and over and over and over. And I gave you this. You can read it for yourself. In the Gospel of John chapter 16 verse 33. Jesus said, In the world you shall have tribulation. But be of good courage. Be of good cheer. Because I have already. Jesus said he has already overcome the world. And the Apostle Paul says also in the book of Acts chapter 14 verse 22. That through much tribulation we shall enter the kingdom. And in the book of Second Thess Thessalonians, chapter 1, verse 4, he said, you know, he was bragging about the church of Thess Thessalonica because of their courage and, and their boldness and confidence and their faith in God because of even the tribulation and the persecution they were going through. On and on and on and on and on. The Bible has been talking about this, but it seems our churches are very silent about it. Preachers are not talking about this. And this is really a sort of preparing the people of God to fail. That in the midst of the persecution, of many will deny Christ, they will betray one another, and they will curse God out and throw, I mean, throw away their faith. So let's see it here. How do we prepare for this? First of all, we have to arm our minds. We have to be conscious of it. This is a done deal. It's a pro prophesied word of God. It is both <laughs> the, the realm and the logo of the word of God. And you cannot change it. I cannot change it. If you don't want to be persecuted for Christ, then leave Christianity. Go somewhere else and follow another religion if you want to. Because the Bible says, for all that will live godly, in Christ Jesus, they shall suffer persecution. And Jesus even mentions, when he says in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 13, verse 21, he was talking about the different soils, you know, where the, 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 the soil was sowing seed. And he mentioned one, of course, one, one, one of uh, the soils here, I think that's the one with the rocky heart, stony heart. He said, you know, that person heard the word, he was instantly happy excited about it but he has no depth no roots so that when the scorching sun of the of, of the, the scorching heat of the sun or the persecution will come because of the word of god they wither away they fall away they're burnt and we are seeing this over and over and over in the muslim nations in china in north korea in cuba and you go to many other nations of the world right now satan is just aggressively going after the church either on family level or community level state level national and now we're seeing international and i see some christians who are going about getting lawyers so that we can form up you know we have our own group to defend us here around there so that those uh, uh allow religious you know freedom of speech and this and especially here in america we don't want persecution so we're doing what's where it takes to avoid fulfilling the word of God. Lawyers are not stronger than Jesus and they're not, their words are not stronger than the Bible. They're not stronger than the word of God. Jesus assured us this. So you know, we try to get congressmen and women. We try to elect governments here that will free us so that we can do what we want. Um, we have been bargaining for a long time now, but we can't bargain anymore. Jesus said it. That, you know, we, all over the nations of the world, believers will be persecuted because of his name and i said it in my last broadcast he didn't say all over the world except united states it's not that's not how it's written in the bible all over the world the nations of the world will persecute believers because of his name for over 30 years in nearly 40 nations around the world god has been using dr andy i'll do mightily according to john 14 12 to raise many physically dead and dying people, heal the sick, operate many special miracles, as well as winning many sinners to Christ. As the author of the internationally best-selling series known as Raising the Dead, 
Dr. Adu has been honorably received by many world leaders. Now, ladies and gentlemen, log on to RaisingTheDead.org for additional details because Dr. Adu is coming to your area for a great meeting and you need to be there.